Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our Super Mario Galaxy Let's Play. Last episode, we did a few more uh, stars in a... What's it called? It's like Battle Rock? I don't know. Battle Rock Galaxy? Was that what it was called? I think it was. Um. Anyway, we're probably going to be heading back there. It looks like there's a uh, prankster comet or something similar um, over at the fountain. I wish my... <laughs> I think maybe it's because my... My computer's in the way of my Switch talk? I don't know. When I point it over here, it looks fine. Okay. I was talking last episode about how my little cursor felt a little finicky. Um, I don't know why. Because it hasn't been previously. It just started today. So I don't know what I'm <laughs> really doing differently. Okay. It's a Daredevil comment. Okay. Let's do it. Why not? All right, I think that I'm going to assume those are the ones the Luma mentioned that probably take our health down. Here we go, Daredevil Comet in orbit. Let's see what's going on. Top Maniac's Daredevil run. was the. I think that's the boss we just fought. So are we going to have like one health the whole run? Because if so, that's a little tough. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine, but... Be a little tough. Oh, did we just start at the boss fight, though? Oh, that's way easier than I thought, actually. Like, I can just... Would have been crazy if I just died there. This isn't actually going to be that bad. Because we, we were pretty alright fighting this guy. We just got to be a little more conscious of where we land when we jump. Because I think that's where we took damage. Um, was not necessarily jumping, but the landing after our jump. Might also be good to take all those guys out. Just so they're out of the way. I don't know if they do damage. And I don't really want to find out. So, let's... And, Perfect. Okay, so no, they make me spin. Okay. Well, truth be told, we don't need to really worry about these guys if we could just take this guy out first, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> we are two minutes and 40 seconds into the first episode, and we just got our first star. <laughs> Off to a fantastic start. Um, yeah, so the, I thought the Daredevil comments were going to make me have to do the whole mission without taking damage, which I thought was going to be <laughs> real tough, if I'm being honest. Um, but just like the boss fight or a small segment of it doesn't seem too bad. Um, we'll save just in case. Uh, yeah, should be fine. There we go. And head right back on up. What else can we go to? Are we done with this? No, it looks like there's more to do there. Uh, I guess we can head to this new galaxy, right? We haven't, we got everything we can currently do in Battle Rock. What's going on? Hurry scurry. It looks like, it looks like one star. Oh, but, uh, have we, I feel like these platforms look familiar. Maybe not. Um, shrinking satellite. Okay, I guess that kind of implies what the, uh, platforms are going to do. So, here's, uh, <laughs> wait, how, how does this work? Do they, I assume they just, like, fall out from under me? Is that what's going on? Oh, real fast, too. Okay. Um, well, I can remember I can long jump. I can spin if I need to. I think I'm going to try to go for this one up. Easy. Okay. I don't love that. <laughs> That's... I ooh, I really don't like that. Um, okay, here's the real deal, though. Oh, do we have to get the music notes? Okay. Oh, let's start moving. I don't really know... how difficult this is going to be. It doesn't seem too bad so far. Um, <laughs> that was easy. Uh, how do we get into the center, though? Do we just, like... Okay. That's two stars, and we're four minutes, almost five minutes in. Great. So I think we can do the Bowser level now, right? Like, I think that's all the other... Unless there's a comet... Going by in this room that I'll do real fast. Just because it'll be good to get those comments out of the way so we don't have to worry about them later. Galaxy complete. Very nice. Almost at a thousand star bits. We can save that as well. Um, I actually, I just had a very, very funny thing happen to me. It, it wasn't in between this episode and the last. It was actually right before I filmed last episode. Um, which I definitely recommend going back and checking out. I talked a lot about what I want to do moving forward on this channel um, when it comes to content. So it's kind of 
Bowser's Star Reactor. Okay, it's kind of an important episode, not necessarily for gameplay reasons, but just for, I don't know, my channel reasons. Um, so I definitely recommend checking that out if you missed it. Um, but right before filming that, um, I had to get up real early this morning. And I don't have a very good sleep schedule. I go to bed pretty late. Um, and the current way my life is set up, I have to get up pretty early most days. Um, <laughs> which obviously... Uh, I'm sure you guys can see the issue there. <laughs> like, I'm sure you guys can see why... That's not a great way to live. Um, and I'm working on correcting it. I'm working on fixing it. But it's easier said than done. Um, but in the place I'm currently living. Uh, I, I guess they decided to. <laughs> yet last night to check the. Um, it wasn't super late. I shouldn't say last night. It was like yesterday afternoon. Um, I think it started like right around 11 actually. So technically not afternoon. But like pretty close. Um. This music is totally Mario 64 music. Um, but they started to check whether the fire alarms work, which, you know, it's annoying, but I, I, it's a necessary evil. Oh, man. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. It's a necessary evil. Um, I'd love to know my fire alarms work and be mildly inconvenienced um, than to have a fire break out and no fire alarm goes off. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll make that sacrifice of comfort for, like, for, like, the afternoon. <laughs> for, for the sake of my safety in the long run, just in case. Um, and I, I wasn't home for most of it, luckily. Um, so I didn't have to deal with a lot. But throughout the day, it seemed like they were still kind of testing it a little. Because every now and then, it wouldn't be loud for long, but it would like give like a tiny little chirp. It, it felt like... Like, if, if it was... Uh, it was definitely for less than a second. Like, they were very, very small chirps. And... Um, I don't really need that one up. And um, I was able to avoid most of it. When I came home a bit later, every now and then still it would chirp, but it never went off for super long. Um, but that night, the, I, I, the place I'm currently living in, I have it's not where I have been for a while. I have filmed the, the, the first episode of anything just for like time reference that I filmed in this new place is the first episode of Mario Galaxy. That's the first thing I've started filming here. And... Um, Oh, there's Bowser. What's he got to say to us? He looks really high def. He's just vomiting at us. Um, wow, okay. This has got really intense. Um, so, I I was like, you know, like, I'm, I'm hungry. Uh, it's late at night. Um, I don't want to, like, just eat, like, chips or something for dinner. So, I was like, I'm going to I'm gonna make something. I've got, like, I've got steak in the freezer. Or, I think I put it in the fridge because I knew I was going to make it. Spazer so about to say something here was wow, his hair's going crazy. Well, haha, -ha. you finally made it. Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits. They're called star bits, actually. Um, what is going on? Okay. Um, but so I started. I put him in a pan. You know, I just I put put a little oil in the pan. I was making the steaks, and I uh, I definitely I didn't really understand how this new stove top worked. I gotta figure out how to damage him right now. Um, okay. Do I gotta spin him? I do. Maybe not. He didn't like that, but. I don't know how to damage him right now. Um, so I definitely... I'm. Oh, okay. That kind of makes sense. How do I... like? Do, is, he, is he just like... Stunned right now though? Like, do I need to hit him? There we go. That's something. <laughs> okay, this boss fight's weird. Um... So I, I put the the pan a little too hot, and luckily I didn't burn my food. Um, but I did. There's quite a bit of smoke, and um, <laughs> it, it dissipated pretty quickly. Uh, but it apparently was enough to, for a split second, set off the fire alarm. Like it was, it wasn't for longer. Then it, like it went off twice. I kind of like looked at my roommate and was like, "Oh man, like I'm sorry, like I felt horrible." Um, but it stopped really quickly, which feels weird. Like I feel like if a fire alarm goes off, like if there's enough smoke to set off a fire alarm, shouldn't it go off for more 
Like, shouldn't it continue going off till like someone tells it not to? Like someone turns it off. But anyway, that's not really what I'm talking about right now. Um, that's just, you know, I guess, a, a side story. Um, but back to them testing the fire alarms. It's it seemed like it was just going to be that one night, last night specifically, at the time filming this at least. And um, when <laughs> when I got home today. Um, I got home at like 10.30ish, maybe? Um, when I had to do super early. And <laughs> when I got back, I was like, I'm, I'm exhausted. I went to bed really, I went to bed at like 2 a.m. last night. I had to get up at like 7 in the morning today. Like I was, I was out of it. Um, I sat, I, I sat down to do work on my computer and I looked at like the words on the screen. And the, when I realized I didn't like recognize the words, like I was reading them, but not understanding them. I was like, I need to. I need to lay down for a little. Um, so I laid down. I took a nap. And what woke me up to start filming was the fire alarm going off again. What? How? Foolish Mario. My plan is too far along now. You really think you can stop me? Well, ha. There he goes. I know. I, I kind of kind of destroyed you there, dude. Um, but. And it was it went off for longer than it did last night. And it seems like they're still testing it. That It kind of felt like that's what it was. But it's kind of funny like saying it all out loud now that when I'm pretty sure they were just testing the fire alarm, it went off for longer than when I actually produced enough smoke to set it off. <laughs> that feels really questionable. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to sit on that one. I'm going to point that out to my roommate and see what would they think later. Uh, <laughs> that's a little interesting. Um, we got another grand star though. Make that we made the sun green. Maybe that star had a little copper in it. Pretty no, it was copper what turns it blue? No, I think copper turns fire green. I have no clue. I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no clue. No, I'm like 90% sure it's copper. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. If I'm right, like the video. That's our that's our trade-off there. Galaxy complete, very nice. Over a thousand star bits, very nice. We also got a new the kitchen. We we've already unlocked a bunch of galaxies there. Wow. You rescued another grand star and powers returned to another dome in the back of the observatory. But I still don't think we have the star power we need to fly the observatory through the universe. The villain who kidnapped your special one took her far from here, to the center of the universe. Once our star power is restored, the, ob the observatory will be able to go there. Then you can reunite with your special one. I'll save real quick. I didn't see any comments, or er, com, com it, not comments, comments on the screen here. So I guess we'll just head right on over to the kitchen. Um... See what's going on there. We've got a, quite a few stars, so we can definitely pick and choose which galaxy to do. We're probably just going to do what we've always done, which is... Is this a wall jump up here? Is that what's going on? Nice. That made me feel pretty cool. Um, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there we go. Avoided climbing that staircase. Um, what's going on here? We have discovered an enemy base in the region. You can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. We've already discovered the enemy base here. That's kind of insane. Um, we're not going to do it quite yet, though. We're going to do the, the galaxies in intended order, which looks like this one first. What's going on here? What is this one? Beach Pool Galaxy. This one looks cool. It's like a little tropical place with like a giant screwdriver in the air. Um, interesting. Let's fly on in. Uh, sunken Treasure. Oh, it's probably going to be water-based. Okay, now we get to see here if Mario needs to breathe in this game. Because we haven't really gone underwater yet. And we were talking a few episodes ago <clears throat> about how... Um, I'm not sure Mario needs to breathe because he's able to go through space just fine. And even though he's got a big old round nose, he doesn't appear to have nostrils on it. Oh, the penguin dudes. Good to see you again. I feel like I recognize this song from somewhere else too, but maybe not. Maybe I've just heard it from this game before. Okay, so what's going on here? It was called Sunken Treasure. Oh, I think... So I see Star... Oh, we do need to breathe. Okay. That's how I... Okay, A to move? This is weird. I probably should have spoke to one of the... I bet you one of the little... Uh, penguins would have given me those controls. That's not right. Okay, it's inverted. Do I want to be... Yeah, as I was say, maybe I wait. <laughs> um, this is weird. I don't know if I like this control. It's a water level, so it's of course going to be a little... Hey, Grandpa, please. Thank you. A little finicky. Um, 
But here, so here's my take on that. I a lot of people complain about water levels, and do not get me wrong, they're not my favorite. Um, I don't really like water levels, but I think complaining about the controls of water levels completely misses the point of what they are. Uh, and I feel free to ridicule me in the the comments below for this. Uh, I definitely understand that this is not a popular take. I don't think there should be more water levels. I think, you know, if there was none, uh, I wouldn't say games would be necessarily better, but I would, I would probably enjoy them a little, uh, a little more. Um, some games do them really well, but where's the other star pieces? Maybe further up. I don't know, but the whole point of water levels are to make your controls weird and to kind of throw you off. It's to put you out of your comfort zone and put you in a situation where you're not at home. Like Mario, he can jump, he can you know jump on enemies, he can do spins in this game, he can do all that on land. In the water, my movement is limited and I don't have those abilities. I'm meant to feel alienated in the water and that's what makes water levels feel different. And I can recognize that it can be frustrating to have limited access to your, move, to your abilities, but it makes it feel different, and that's the whole point of water levels. So as much as I dislike water levels, I can never... Like, if you made me sit down and rank out, um, like, like video game levels, um, I, I wouldn't just inherently put water... Like, in terms of quality, not necessarily enjoyment. Because, again, I don't love water levels, but... Uh, if you made me rank them in quality, that's not... How do I... I think I'm figuring this out. Um, what? Oh, this is weird. Hold on, I can just... But I, the point of water levels is to feel slightly uncomfortable. And I think when people talk about how bad water levels are and how, like, qual like they're like, oh, like, they're always the worst. It's like, enjoyment-wise, yes, I don't love water levels. But calling them the worst level, again, completely misses the point of what they are. They're not meant to be comfortable. They're meant to be a little weird. And that's my that's my spiel on water levels. So let me let me know how uh, how much you guys dislike that take. Um, <laughs> let me if if you did if you disagree, leave a like. That that's how I'll do it. Because uh, I'm expecting more of you guys to disagree with me. What do you you see the sparkly things? No, I'm looking for two more of them. The students are distracted by the sparklies. Awesome. Where are they? Um, there's two more, isn't there? Where? I'm going to be honest, this urchin looks a little suspicious. Can I... Spinning does move me differently. Okay, so I still have like access to some of my abilities. Um, where is this last star or the last two? Okay, so no, I can't spin into them. Good to know. Let's get this air bubble. Just a little health too. Um, where? Maybe behind this tree? Maybe? Oh, maybe in here. Wait, in this little. Because he's, he's just hanging out by it, right? Yeah, okay. It also does refill our air. Oh, okay, so we get spin to move faster, like that guy was saying. But then we we kind of bump around a little. Um. Okay, that didn't have what I thought it was going to have in it. I thought it was going to have our last piece. Um. Maybe behind this, like, tree thing? We need one more. Um, people are yelling at me. I hear that. Oh, uh, there it is. <laughs> that guy got a little close to the big eel. Um, okay, let's swim up and get over to that launch star and get on out of this water level. 
But like, yeah, like I feel out of place right now. I feel uncomfortable when it comes to control wise. Um, and that's the point. I'm not supposed to be in the water from like a, I'm a human standpoint. It's meant to feel a little awkward. It's meant to feel a little awkward. I just said the same thing twice. It's meant to feel a little awkward. It's meant to feel a little uncomfortable. And that's the point of these levels. And I, I kind of, I don't love water levels. They're definitely not my favorite. Do not get me wrong. But I think saying they're always inherently the worst level quality wise is just incorrect. Let's take this guy out. So Starbits. What are these going to give us? I wonder. What is this song? Uh, I know this. We got a one up from it. And another one up there. Oh, I guess we got the one up from the. No, no, no. From the. Uh, what's it called? From the, the Starbits more so. What does this do? A little bit. Are we timed? We are. I do know that ticking sound means that. Um, yeah, let's walk on up here. If I can grab the one up and it's not out of the way, I'll grab it. But perfect. Although it really means nothing to us. Perfect. I probably could have just wall jumped up that though, or not wall jumped, like backflip and spun. And we're gonna hit this one a few times. Interesting. That was a little weird. <laughs> Mario's like blue in the bottom. <laughs> Why is he? He's like turquoise. Uh, let's grab this star. Yeah, but that's that's my opinion on water levels. I'm glad that one was short. I'll say that. But again, I think the point is that they're hard. The point is that they're a little weird. And I think if you say they're bad, you're kind of missing that point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I'm gonna call this episode here. It's getting a little long. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Another another little fun one. We're over a thousand starbits. Wow. Where's this library is open? Okay. Hungry Luma has appeared. Might wanna go feed them. But let's save. And again, I'm going to call this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Make sure to tune in next time for more Mario Galaxy. Hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. And again, thank you for watching and have a good day.